Hi Capricorn, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading, Capricorn. I hope you guys are all well. And before we begin, you may get a free psychic reading. It's a five-minute reading, and the link is below. It's with Mystic Sense. All the information is there. If you would like your own private reading, Capricorn, you can get one. You may, and you look at the About tab here on my YouTube page, and we will go from there. Okay, so let's get into it. And Capricorn, we start with unity, but this isn't like, you know, just typical unity, right? Which is, you know, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Yes, they do. Uh, but, you know, they may be trying to say that love is not good. I mean, it's just, you know, everything is a is a switch, right? It is, definitely, if you're paying attention. But this unity card, here's all these forest animals here. And they're all here, the snake, the badger, the birds, right? And here's like a, this looks like a, uh, like a, a hyena. Yeah, and all these animals, the wolf is here. And so with this, and even water animals here, right? So these are coming from his, like, kind of from his robe, kind of. But the point about this, this, this card talks about somebody who wants to share, share with somebody. They want to share the world with somebody or their world. They don't want to dominate. They don't want to be controlled. I feel like somebody's coming here who feels controlled in their life. And they're like, why should I stay here with, you know, with this uh, controlled opposition, basically? Yeah, that's a, that's a new one. That's, I don't know if it's new, but it sure is. Um, it sure is kind of, uh, you know, relevant. <laughs> but we're not going to discuss that today. But with your person, Sagittarius, or Capricorn, rather, this unity card is about somebody who they realize here that they can share with you, right? That you're like, you're a fair player, that you're fun or, or you're just fair, right? And just, and I feel like they're coming away from, they're coming. Uh, I feel like this person is coming. It's interesting here with this reading. I feel like they're not even, they're not even a hundred percent cognizant. They're leaving. They're just like, kind of like, unconsciously planning it's a little strange but you know here's stepping away and here she is and she you know here's the big elk over here uh you know i'm not sure if that's supposed to be you know her husband <laughs> but <coughs> you know somebody here this person this stepping away card is like let me move away from the power kind of let me go get my own power possible here with her looking at the elk which is you know seen kind of as the elder right uh mm -hmm. this can talk about you know uh i have my wisdom now and so this stepping away card somebody wants to step away from something that they feel kind of controlled and let's have a look at the stepping away card because i'm sure there's more to it than meets the eye it's the first day of spring and a very lucky witch might glimpse the great heralds of the wildwood, the majestic stag. Okay, he's the stag. I beg your pardon, uh, which is even more beautiful. Yes. Sorella Carey's fleeting look is all she gets, and it is all she needs. Don't look too hard at the mechanics of wonder, or else you risk seeing right through it. A great part of magic's power comes from our need for it, not the control of it. So this other card talks about control. This person trying to let go. Of, or you are Capricorn, the reading can be switched. Let go of a controlling situation and go with the flow. Go with the flow of the universe. Go with the flow of my heart. And whatever, you know, whatever your heart uh, says is the right way. It's the flow. Yeah, it is. So just, you know, like little kids do, they trust it, right? Yeah, I want that red popsicle, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and piercing the mist, this talks about somebody who has been kind of sad or stuck in a place or kind of repressed possibly but now you know here are the flowers piercing the mist the mist of the winter basically the octopus and the phoenix capricorn and that is uh your person's card and with the octopus here this talks about somebody who is trying to attempting to set boundaries for themselves but instead they have all their tentacles you know kind of off right but this talks about somebody who is yearning and reaching for something and what they are reaching for here is the phoenix and here is the phoenix and we know this is rising from the ashes yes it is and uh, let's see what else we have we have the polar bear mm -hmm. so this is something very powerful the uh 
the coffin is reversed. So this talks about somebody who wants a new beginning. Yeah, maybe something has to end here. Something has to be kind of walked away from. And in order to just like to really kind of be in your flow and to enjoy your life. Yeah, there's something here. Somebody wants to leave for sure. And now we have the thief. Okay, so the thief is can cause heartbreak. It can be about loss. It's typically about loss, right? Here's the young thief here and he's stealing the stopwatch from this man who is, you know, very happy with his wife or whatever. And they're walking down the street and uh, mm -hmm, he's stealing this gold. It's a real gold watch for sure. It is uh, in those days. I don't think they had anything that wasn't real gold. No, everything was uh, more legit and more uh, genuine for sure. It was right. Even unfortunately, even uh, many people, it's kind of how it is. I know you guys are legit though, Capricorn, right? And so, and genuine, yeah, for sure. But uh, somebody wants to leave something here and there's going to be loss and the stars here as well. And then we also have the tower. So the tower can be anything that could be a home possibly. Mm -hmm. It could be a belief system as well sometimes because this huge tower is here. Uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a marriage. Yeah. And this is kind of like the Hierophant, which is you know interesting here. Right. But the tower, uh, this is a belief system. I believe, I feel like somebody doesn't believe the same way that they used to. And they go, I'm just, I've just been controlled. I don't want to be controlled. I want to run away. Right. Yeah. Like the other day we were saying, join the circus. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, or join, you know, I don't know what join the carnival capricorn you guys want to join the carnival <laughs> let's get into it here and uh yeah see what we have some people some people go with the carnival that's what they do right when the when because they only work like seasonal when the carnivals come so let's see what we have though capricorn in this reading and yeah let's see what we have for capricorn and we have to put the cards out slow because there could be, there could be some, some skin here. Six of cups is in this reading. The eight of swords that, that is not surprising in this reading. Somebody feels stuck. That is very indicative here. Move the camera down now. This is very powerful. Somebody really wants to kind of like see the sun rise. Or leave a situation where the sun doesn't rise. Something like that. Yeah. And let's see what else we have, Capricorn. The Ace of Wands is here. The Five of Swords. This is loss. The Fool card. And in your and, and in your outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants to be free. Yeah. Like Diana Ross. Set me free. Why don't you, babe? Right? Mm-hmm. Somebody wants to be free and in your environment is a victory and, and a defeat both. This could be despair, but it's, it's really not, not in the upright. It is typically chaos and conflict, or it is a victory and a defeat. And so somebody wants to leave something that they feel like is either defeating them or has been defeated. Something that's no good for them. Something where there was no boundaries, it looks like where there was just control, right? If you're in a situation where there is control, there's no boundaries. This person is overstepping their boundaries or you are allowing them to. And it is usually that you are allowing things that things that happen to us. It's because we've allowed it or created it. Yeah. So in the heart of the matter, Capricorn, the wounded warrior is here. So this means that this could be you or your person. This is somebody who's kind of been battled. They could be hurt, feeling hurt, but they're plugging forward. They're being resilient here uh, because they just said, hey, let me put the bandage on and I have my wand. But it's an insecure feeling or an uncertain feeling, right? Yeah. And the five of wands is with it. So you could feel, you could. this could be you in this energy about competition, Capricorn. Or you feel like this is a struggle for you. I feel like somebody want your person, Capricorn, most likely. It could be you, but, you know, I'm going to read it that way. I feel like they want something to end, but 
they uh, are like inching away every day because they don't have the, the full-on confidence to just say, hey, my time's up here, right? Yeah, this has completed itself. The Knight of Pentacles, this could be what you're focusing on. This could be what they're focusing on. That's typically you. Uh, and this is unfolding. You're showing up here. And we have the Eight of Swords sits in the past. Yeah, see, somebody felt stuck. Hey, but just like I was saying, you know, you can release yourself here. This is the person here who is piercing the mist, letting the sun come forward in their life, who is stepping away. But this stepping away is like, it's little by little. Yeah, this is somebody who knows if you take a step a day, you'll eventually get there. <laughs> right? You're like, well, I'm too afraid to jump off the to jump off the cliff. So let me just take little steps, baby steps, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so here, Capricorn, the Six of Cups sits in your what is helping you position here. This person has warm, fuzzy feelings for you, and I feel like you guys are friends and Maybe you guys both like gardening, something like that. These kids are, you know, they've been picking these flowers, right? Uh, and they're in the yard together. Mm -hmm. This could be what you want. You could want this person to return. Ten of Wands. I feel like what this is, is that how this is helping you here is that somebody is using contrast here, right? Contrast to compare, like their life. Like they see the big difference. Like with Capricorn, it's warm and fuzzy and fun and sweet. And with this other situation is a burden, is heavy to carry, right? Yeah, this young guy, you know, he's, uh, he's young. He has a, you know, a nice physique here and you keep carrying these here and you're going to be a hunchback, right? Yeah, we don't want that for anybody here. No, let's see what we have. And in the heart of the matter, Capricorn, or in the overall energy for you, you are the wounded warrior there. Here's temperance. I just feel like what you're doing here, it could be about a Sagittarian, but I feel like you are kind of wounded here and a little tired. Uh, and I feel like you've been struggling with this or kind of carrying this yourself. But uh, I feel like you, you want this person most likely to kind of like regain their balance or their harmony, their, in, their inner like their, their higher consciousness. You want this person to be uh, emotionally balanced. And I don't mean that, you know, they're ready to jump out the window. I don't mean that. I just mean somebody who, who sees things, you know, with some wisdom, right? And some spiritual kind of emotional education, right? Emotional uh, intelligence. Like, hey, this is, you know, this isn't good for me. And I feel like this person sees that. I'm pretty sure, Capricorn, the Six of Pentacles is coming soon. But let's get a card on the Knight of Pentacles, and that is you with the Page and the Queen of Wands. So this is coming, this is a new start for you, Capricorn. This Page of Pentacles uh, is somebody who's eager, and I feel like this is somebody who's eager to lay down the burden and to, like, start up again with you. This person values you, Capricorn. They do. Now, this may be you totally valuing them, of course, uh, because this is my plight here. Like, you know, uh, the reading could be for you or your person. So here we see the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is in the near future, however you cut it. Whatever spread here I am kind of speaking to, this always sits in the near future here. And your near future is always looking good. You could be saying, thank you, power and light. <laughs> mm -hmm. No need for that, right? <coughs> Here's the Ace of Wands and your advice. This, this position is always great too. <coughs> so you're going to have this new beginning with this person, Capricorn. For many of you, okay? It can't be all, unfortunately, right? No, but we, uh, this is for many. The five of wands is in your environment. This is a victory and a defeat, and it is going to be your victory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here with this new beginning here and the, the ace of wands here. The fool card is your hopes and fears. It's showing up with uh, 
it's showing up here with the queen of cups so you're hoping this person will take a leap of faith and love maybe this is just you and you want to do this right and nine of pentacles in the outcome this is the single card with the ace of swords this is this person or you will become single for a new beginning will become available right yeah nobody wants somebody who's not entirely available i know i don't and to start there it extended uh capricorn let's get uh a couple shuffles in here i haven't even pulled these cards i don't believe i have right i typically pull them and leave them let's see what we have for capricorn's person and this will be the beginning of their extended reading let's see what we have for them yeah all the extenders are super affordable and i have the link below in the description box so let's see what we have for capricorn's person the bottom of the deck is the sacred temple this is spirit this is your person here going to the sacred temple it is a place they go by themselves it's not really a, a physical place um, and so this person is either you know meditating about this praying about it uh, but they are definitely in their higher consciousness yeah and we have deception is at the bottom of the deck with it and commitment okay so this you know deception and commitment uh your person this person this is not about them dis deceiving you uh this is an event here this is about them coming to you and i believe they're not going to be able to whoever they're walking away from who has an iron fist it looks like uh who may have an iron fist they cannot tell this person hey i'm leaving to go be with somebody else how can you tell somebody who who has like an iron fist here's the commitment here's the very earnest looking man he's signing a contract this is an event Mm -hmm. this could be your person just telling somebody right here not the truth about why they're leaving could be but this is also i feel like this person this is about a new beginning and possibly a marriage for you capricorn the commitment card so that's at the bottom of the deck and their first card here is the loving woman they have the honoring path and this is uh crossing them it is both supporting and challenging them so honoring their path in the supporting uh, energy here would be like i'm going for what i really want i'm going for uh you know the path that i think that the universe wants me to have what i feel like i deserve i'm honoring my own true intentions here like my own what i want to create in my life you are either the loving woman or this is them but they're going to come here capricorn and this challenges them here because of somebody else that some type of control or somebody that they have to say goodbye to right uh, and so the peace card is reversed. This is why it's all happening. They are not in peace right now. No, they are not. So, uh, but we're going to end this and this will be a 10 card spread. We're also going to have a tarot reading on them and we will see how they feel about you right here. Capricorn, show me how they feel about Capricorn. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, this person here, this Phoenix here, this is their card. They want a new beginning with you. This person wants to rise from the ashes. Here's the ace of wands right here this is how they feel about you so so wow this is going to be good it's below capricorn thanks so much for joining me here god bless you guys and please remember to like share and subscribe